As a test of fairness, we might imagine that Iran invaded and occupied Canada and Mexico and had aircraft carriers sitting in the Caribbean. Imagine then if Iran had the power to label the U.S. the axis of evil and cut us off from the rest of the world and then threaten to attack us if we didn't stop generating nuclear power. What if Iran had overthrown the U.S. government 50 years ago and installed a dictator friendly to Iranian interests who kept it in power for 25 years? At that point, imagine that Christian fundamentalists, who currently represent about a third of the U.S., took power and began ruling under church law, followed by an unprovoked invasion by Canada, supported by Iran and ignored by the U.N., in which it nearly destroyed the U.S. Would it be possible to imagine Iran as liberators? Would Iran be justified in attacking if the U.S. government helped Christian fundamentalists in Canada to take up resistance? Would it be justified to hate and fear all Christians because of the ones that took and abused power in this context? This is not about good guys and bad guys. Both the American and Iranian governments are working against the interests of the people. But the deadly game of chicken was begun by the U.S., and the U.S. has the power to end it.